A state district court in Austin is hearing more than a dozen legal challenges to Texas' restrictive abortion law. It started at 9 o'clock this morning and it's still going on. And this all comes nine days after the U.S. Supreme Court took up Senate Bill 8. The high court was not considering the merits of the law, but rather how that law is enforced. KXAN's Monica Madden joins us live with arguments from inside today's hearing, which could be the first real test of the law's constitutionality. That's exactly right, Robert. The judge has been allowing all types of arguments in what's been an hours-long hearing that is still going as on, as you pointed out. He could rule on the constitutionality of this law or simply dismiss this case altogether. It's become a familiar scene. SB8 has got to go. Abortion advocates rallying outside a courthouse. SB8 is simply unconstitutional. But Wednesday's hearing offers something new. It offers us the opportunity to really chip down to the unconstitutionality of this law. In these challenges to Texas Senate Bill 8, abortion providers are suing a private entity, Texas Right to Life, rather than the state. Providers have sued the state, but so far have not been able to get the law blocked through an injunction. Because the federal cases had failed to get an injunction, it seems as if uh, the opponents of the Texas Heartbeat Act were looking for other venues to air their constitutional arguments. Texas Right to Life created an online form to report claims of providers who give abortions after cardiac activity is detected or people who help them. The providers called this, quote, a mercenary incentive to do what the government itself knows it cannot do, saying it deputizes people to file lawsuits without an underlying injury that's required for legal claims. Texas Right to Life attorneys say asking for an injunction to stop their activity will not prevent other people from suing under the new state law. If today the judge gives them everything they ask for, they still are saying they won't go back to business as usual. So that means that an injunction against us doesn't actually solve any of their problems. But providers think their problems could be solved. If the judge rules the law itself is unconstitutional, something still on the table. Now, the judge said this long hearing could go into the evening tonight. And since he's considering so much, we can expect a lengthy opinion, but there is no definitive timeline on when we will see that decision. Live in the studio, Monica Madden, KXAN News. And as Monica mentioned, today's case focused on the constitutionality of the Texas law. The challenges the U.S. Supreme Court heard last week are focused on enforcement. The Supreme Court has long said state officials cannot ban abortion that early in a pregnancy, so the Texas legislature handed off enforcement to private individuals, allowing anyone to sue any doctor who performs an abortion or anyone who helps out. The state also says abortion providers should have to wait until they are sued before challenging the state law. We're waiting for that ruling from the high court, and next month the U.S. Supreme Court justices will hear a case that more directly addresses whether abortion should remain a constitutional right. It's a challenge to a Mississippi law banning abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy.